Hello and welcome to step number one. You are in the right place if you are looking for an additional stream of revenue into your offline business. Or maybe you want to take a step back away from your offline business because you maybe want to start a family or you're just wanting to look for a more relaxed role and the idea of working from home in your current situation right now seems more favourable than going in and actually opening up every day your tangible offline business. Or it could be that you're looking for an exit strategy and possibly you are thinking um, a plan of like maybe one to three years you want to essentially move all your or migrate all your offline services to online. Wherever you are right now, it is quite straightforward as a concept to do, especially in this day and age, but obviously there is a process and this is actually step number one into that process. So the first thing to do, I believe in strongly, is to basically set your expectations correctly from the get-go. Now, I think a lot of people unfortunately fail, especially when it comes to online efforts with any sort of service, is just because their expectations were not correct from the beginning. They didn't quite understand or realise the work and the effort and energy that is involved into going into transforming a offline service to online. And I don't want you to be in that situation Everything is just a learning process and transforming your offline business to online is no different. So yes, there is going to be some heavy work involved and that's why I want this course to give you an insight into that journey so you can actually make an informed decision. So that's why I've created the Freedom Calculator and it's actually based on one of my other courses, Five Steps to Freedom, as an online coach because at the end of the day, most offline business owners, because I've been there, they go into business with the idea of them working for themselves and this idea of being flexible and doing what you want when you want because you have a, an offline business sounds great and on paper you would think that flexibility and freedom in your work and lifestyle would just naturally um, mature from that uh, business situation but unfortunately in most cases, I know it was for mine anyway, I actually personally, I'm not saying I'm speaking for you because I don't know where you are with your business just yet, but um, it, it actually ends up being the opposite. So if you've come from the corporate side and into business, that's where I was. I went to uni, then I went into the corporate setting, and then I went into my offline business ventures. Um, yeah, I actually had um, less time. I had less freedom, even though obviously things were always on my um, command, I had full control over what, what I wanted in my business, but you know, I, I found it very hard to strike that balance. And I don't want that, um, I don't want to build a picture for you when it comes to just maybe switching an offline business to online because there is a lot of work up front. But like with most things, it's actually worth having um, in your life is that you need to put the hard work in first anyway to then benefit in the future. So this is why the Freedom Calculator, as mentioned, was born. So you can actually go through the process of actually ironing out um, and writing down all your expenses and working out how much potentially your service will be online. Again, just like a, an estimated um, guide for you at the moment. And then it will give you a rough idea how long this is going to take in terms of creating your online service from offline because I respect your time and you've got to also understand that and I obviously know this as well being a previous offline business owner that you have a business to run no doubt you might even have a family to run at home as well and the idea of actually putting more work into your life uh, may actually just put some people off so is that using the freedom calculator is really about ironing out exactly where you are and if actually this is the right thing for you to do in where you are with your life right now in your working lifestyle. So in the next video that's just following, I'm actually going to walk you through how to use the freedom calculator and then that's going to give you a rough idea as to how long transforming one of your offline businesses to online will actually work out for you. So once you have that sort of time frame in mind, 
and you can then sort of judge it for yourself is this where I want to be right now do I have the extra time to actually invest into um, you know working on this project so if you've got any questions along the way then please let me know you can find me in the Facebook group but I will see you in the next video hello and welcome back so this is the freedom calculator and I've actually called it the freedom calculator just because I actually use this in my other program five steps of freedom as an online coach but really the same rules apply so right now you're an offline business owner and you are wanting to move potentially one of your offline services to online so what you would do is refer here to left hand side and actually you can find this freedom calculator in the resources section of this mini course so here we are to the left hand side and you can see a selection of normal uh, outgoings that we all have in our life and what I want you to do is just build on this and actually not only include your business but also include your personal if that's what you want to do some business owners I know um, have quite a lot of interconnected expenses from their personal business or if you just have um, you know straight up a very separate business life just then put this forward to your business expenses, however you want to do it. So I know some of my clients have a mixture of, of personal and business expenses. So for here, rent, you might want to uh, put the rent for your own personal home or you might just want to put for your business or you might want to put both. I don't really know you right now. I don't know your situation. So it's quite hard for me to suggest, but you can use this sheet for either or. So, you know, feel free just, just to run with me with that idea. So here you would actually put a list of all the expenses and yes, obviously these are all changeable. So depending on how much your rent is, but I've just put some figures here just to obviously serve the purpose of this training. And here we are, we've got rent, we've got mortgage, we've got car, you might have a company car, we've got other finances, there might be business loans, car insurance, home insurance, again, you know, just play around with these categories and change them up in however, in whichever way you wish. So you can see that there are quite a few and actually these example uh, figures here actually total to 2,150. So that is an actual monthly set of expenses. And here, guys, I would suggest you actually put down a contingency budget. Now, I've actually put, I think, a conservative rate of 10%. You might want to put higher, you might want to put lower. However, I would definitely strongly suggest that you do actually insert here a contingency budget. So like a buffer. So then all in all, with the contingency budgets as well, your buffer plus all these expenses that are unique to you, you would then have a total monthly expense of, and in this case, 2,365. Now, if you want to work out a total annual expense, this is what this box does here. So all together, 28,380. Now to the right hand side, I actually have here a few boxes. Now in this mini course, we're actually going to, going to go over the pricing of your service. This is obviously after you do the research as well and all will be um, understood as you go into and move further into this mini course. But usually I do suggest to my clients when it comes to your service offering online, have three options. So a DIY option, which is usually the cheaper version where you obviously expect someone to go off and do something for themselves, that perceived results that you want to offer them. If it's more of a one-to-one, -one, you can do like an online coaching service. That would be more of a DWY, a done it with you type service. Obviously the price of that service will go up. And then a done for you where you're offering to do something for someone or for, you know by yourself for them that will be a very sort of higher type price point in terms of a service offering but again for the purpose of this video uh, let's just say you want to offer a DIY version of your online service just to see and test the waters and maybe possibly make money at the back ends here guys um, I put as a service offering and again I don't know who you are right now I'm still getting to know you I don't know where you are of your business and your service 
But as an example, 125 per service that you're offering. Now, um, that is a, you know, a very reasonable amount. It's not expensive. It's certainly not cheap either. Um, but most people would be able to find £125 for your service. Again, depending on what you want to offer the market. So as an example, £125 here as a service price. So these boxes here then would highlight exactly what would need to be done in order to successfully make profit from your online service. So in order to achieve um, your, here we are, your 20, sorry, 20, sorry, 2,365 uh, revenue per month, in order to replace that, you would need to find 19 clients paying £125 a month and that would actually take you six months to do sustainably. So actually by month seven, you would actually have 21 paying clients. So then you could then, that's how you're sliding your offline business to online. So again, all these figures can be changed. So let's just say you want to offer your online service for, obviously after doing the due diligence, and you know through the research stage is actually a demand for your service. Let's say you want to offer a service for uh, 500 pounds and press enter. You will then see from this change here, it will just take you one month and you would need five clients paying that in order for you to migrate your um, offline service online successfully. Let's change that back here to 125. Let's say you have more of an outgoing um, with, with regards to your rent. Let's say you have a total rent um, amount of £1,500, but you want to do a DIY version first of your online service, just press enter. You can see here at the bottom, a couple of months extra was shaved off or maybe three, I didn't quite double check, but you can see now it's gonna take you a total of eight months in order for you to sustainably move your offline business to online. Now, feel free to play around. Um, it gets quite cool and exciting when you know really how this, this sheet works, but I've made it so it works in your favor. Again, you can be as flexible and as dynamic with your figures as you want. Um, obviously, it's best to be as true to your current situation as possible. Give an average, maybe reflect on where you were last month, possibly. But here, guys, just to re um, go over these um, boxes here, I'm going to presume, by the way, that you have no clients right now. You are completely um, new and you're starting off from transforming an offline um, service to online. So I'm not going to expect you doing anything online. You have no clients buying into an online service. So this would always stay at zero. And here, guys, it will actually tell you um, how many clients would typically go into your online sort of service, buy into it, and would always need to maybe estimate a churn, an estimated drop off of basically how many people would go into your online business or pay into your online service and how many people might drop off at the end of the month. So conservatively, I've put a, an average of target of four clients a month and also a um, drop off rate of just one client. And these black boxes here, guys. So what I would suggest you do is not to touch them. You can play around with them if you want because you can change, change them. However, um, I'm going to be talking to you about the sales process further um, down into this um, online mini course. But a conversion rate of between 3 and 5% I think is great. Anywhere between 3 and, and sort of 10% is a very good um, sort of range to work on. And 7% I think is very doable, it's very achievable, especially if you are nailing your offline service but you just maybe it's all about just building up your confidence in order to sell it online. But I do think that a 7% conversion off the back of a very strong, awesome sales process is very achievable. So leave that box there at 7%. And if we were to leave that as it is, it would take you, it would take 14 leads in order for you to make a sale. So 14 email addresses. And again, the money is in the follow-up. So we would actually build the back end 
email sequences off the back of your sales service. But in total, that would mean you would need to look for or actually find, and I'll help you do that, 386 leads per month through various means. Obviously, we do, can do the combination of organic and also paid. I would always suggest we start off with organic first just to make sure whatever we're you know, working on is actually working and we're hitting those targets before we start putting the turbo onto the car, i.e. putting the money behind a paid marketing campaign via Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn or wherever your clients might be. But yeah, this here can eventually be a combination of both paid and organic um, strategies. But then also gives you a target lead of 57 per month. And uh, that works out on average if we don't touch these, these figures here in the black boxes too much. That works out for you to try and get two leads per day. Very doable, very achievable, especially if you know exactly what you're doing when it comes to your organic um, marketing campaign, which then will then do a paid um, once we get results in through the organic way. But this is actually all explained in the built to last service system, which will be coming up in the next few videos. But hopefully I've given you uh, enough information on this sheet. If you've got any questions, then please let me know. You can actually find this sheet in the resources section. It's going to ping you to a Facebook closed group that I actually manage. And I just forgot to mention here, make a copy of the Sweden Calculator document or you can download it onto your Excel. If you're struggling in any way, then please just let me know and I can see about maybe sending it to you somehow online. However, have a good play around on this Freedom Calculator. And again, if you are just wondering if this whole moving or migration of your offline service to online is for you, this I'm hoping will just give you an idea as to whether you have the time and the energy to do it. Because if you sort of see here that you've got um, figures that don't even correlate to what we see here and you find out that you might have 12 months in order to move your offline service to online and you've got a bit of urgency with your working lifestyle like for example you're becoming a mum soon and you know you can't obviously wait 12 months or you want an exit strategy because maybe your health has taken a bit of an impact for wh whatever reason or you need to migrate to a new country or possibly you know you have a sick relative you need to look after and you want your business to make a coin so you can like you know go off and with ease uh, let the business still bring in the money if it's going to take you 12 months and maybe this isn't um you know the, the best time in your working lifestyle to do something like this migrate your offline service to online but again we can tweak it you know you, you might just be under charging i mean let's say if you were to charge a a service or a course whatever it is that you want to do at 997 and just watch here the green boxes then obviously depending on what your expenses are all this here will change and then it will give you no time at all like a month in order for you to replace um the income that you're actually making offline with your service to an online service all right then hopefully this made sense and you found this of value and any questions catch me on the facebook group but i will see you in the next training